to my channel. So today, like I promised, I have my March favorites to share with you. And for those of you who greeted me on my birthday, thank you so, so, so much. That means the world to me for you to remember and just leave me a comment. I love all of your sweet comments and I've read every single one of them. So don't fret if I haven't replied to you yet. I just haven't had the time to sit down and just reply to every single one of you. And it honestly gives me warm and fuzzies every time I read a comment from all of you. So yeah, before this video runs any longer, let's go ahead and get started. First, let me talk about foundations. I haven't really ventured off into exploring other foundations besides the ones that I mentioned in my winter favorites video but I felt like this particular foundation deserves another mention in my March favorites just because I literally could not put this down whatsoever. When it comes to foundations, I usually try to rotate my foundations as much as I can just because they need to be used. But every single time, no matter what I do, I always pick this one up. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And for those of you who are asking, I am in the shade 6.5. And I just adore the finish of this foundation. Every time I wear this foundation, I get tons of compliments about my skin. And it just literally makes my skin 10 times better. It makes it look so flawless. It has this really natural finish and when it comes to the luminosity and the emollience of it, it gives just the right amount of glow. And throughout the day, the foundation does a really good job of keeping the luminosity at that same level. It doesn't get greasy. And I know this foundation is a little bit pricey. I know I'm getting my money's worth just because I love the foundation so much and every single time that I wear this foundation, I get wowed by it. I don't want to get into any more details about this foundation because I will do an in-depth review and I will be comparing it to another foundation, so stay tuned for that. So my current favorite foundation brush at the moment is this one by Tarte. This is their flat top angled kabuki brush. And this one I got from their colored clay collection from QVC. And what I love about this kabuki brush in particular is that it is rather small compared to other competing kabuki brushes out there. And so it's really easier for me to get into the crevices of my face. I know it might take a little bit longer to work the foundation into your skin, but I just love how it's really precise with application. And so I can use this for all over my face or I can use this to put under eye concealer and I can also use this brush for contouring with creams or liquids. It has this really nice flat top and it is angled so that sculpting is really easy. Love this brush and if you can still get a hold of this off of QVC, please, please get it. And I am giving one of these away in one of the prize packages so make sure you enter in my birthday giveaway. So before I move on to the rest of the makeup, I have a few more brushes here to share with you. So this one is the large fan brush from Morphe. I believe this one is called IB120 Kabuki Fan Brush. And oh my gosh, I just love how big and fluffy it is. And I don't know, I love this for everything. I love this for applying blush, applying highlighter, applying contour sometimes when I want a more natural contour. And I just love the density of this brush. It has that really nice heftiness to it. And so it's really easy for me to apply literally any cheek products. Another brush that I have been loving so, so much this past month, and I seriously am so glad that I got it, is this Ita brush from NARS. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this in tutorials. And I've tried replicating the same effect with other similar brushes, like the brushes that come in the Benefit blush boxes, but it just wasn't the same. And honestly, ever since I started using this, contouring is such a breeze. It just flies by me really quickly now. And especially when I'm in a hurry, it's so much easier to contour and bronze my face. And if you're a beginner and you don't know what the heck you're doing when it comes to contouring, this brush will make it so, so much easier for you and it'll make you look like you contoured like a pro. Next up, I have some blushes. The first one I wanna share with you is this one from NARS. This is called Lovejoy. And this is one of the very first NARS blushes that I've ever splurged on. And this is such a beautiful shade. I don't know why I've abandoned it for years because I don't know, I guess I I have way too many blushes that I can own ever in my life. But anyways, this is such a beautiful shade, especially on my skin tone, it looks so natural. It is a rosy shade and it has that really bronzy golden shimmer, which is very subtle, but when you apply it on the cheeks, it just looks 
Oh, it looks amazing. And this shade is a little bit more on the bronzy side, so it's more of a summer color. But I really adore this shade for every day. I can wear this with any lip color that I want. The next blushes I want to share with you, you probably already know what they are because I've literally spammed every single video that I've made so far ever since I got it. And it is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop Blushes. And these are the two that I have been grabbing for the most out of the four of them. So the first one is Plum Pop and it is a cool tone pinky purple shade. And the other one is called Peach Pop. It is a pinky coral shade. It's not much of a peach in my opinion. I just love the pigmentation of these blushes and how they blend so, so well. I love how it adheres to the skin really well even on the bare face, on liquid foundation, on powder foundation, no matter what it is. It's not patchy and even when it fades, it doesn't fade patchy on the skin. And yeah, I really recommend them. And if you're looking to splurge on some blushes this spring, these blushes might be the ones for you. For the eyes, I have been adoring this liner so much ever since I got it. This one I got from The Makeup Show in LA. And this is from Gorgeous Cosmetics. It is their Carbon Black ink liquid eye pencil. This is probably one of the creamiest eyeliners I've ever owned and with creamy eyeliners usually they tend to smudge while it's setting and then also at the same time when they set they tend to smudge and go everywhere and make you look like a panda. But with this eyeliner I love that it's creamy and you can maneuver it around no matter what while it's still fresh but once it sets it does not move around and so that's the type of eyeliner that I like when I put it on my lower lash line, on my upper lash line, on my waterline, to tight line, anything, I don't want it to move. I have very oily eyelids and I know Gorgeous Cosmetics is kind of hard to come by especially in the States because they are still new in the States. They are an Australian based brand but I definitely recommend this. And also this liner is one of the blackest that I have seen and I know there's so many black eyeliners out there and I probably already said that one liner is the blackest that I've seen and another black liner is the blackest that I've seen but seriously this tops all of those. I definitely want to pick up more of their liners. So yeah, love it, love it, recommend it. So next up for eyes are some brow products and I have a few here to share with you. The first one is this Brow Bar To Go from Whitening Lightning and this is the darker one out of the two. And I've already reviewed the first one on my blog so I will link that down below in case you were interested. And this is just what the second one looks like so it's generally darker. This is the one that I use the most and I am wearing it on my eyes today. I just love how pigmented these are. Oh my gosh, like one swipe. I just get that much pigment and so you know that a little goes a long way and it'll take me a while to get through the pan itself and if I'm not mistaken compared to the very very first one that I tried I definitely see that the brow powder is not as powdery as it used to be and so when I dip the brush into the pan the powder doesn't fly off everywhere and so it's a really conserving product another brow product that I wanted to share with you is this new one from Anastasia this is their dip brow pomade and this particular shade that I wanted to share with you is Ebony and this is what it looks like and it is the darkest one that they have and so you're probably wondering well aren't you a chocolate or a dark brown and the answer is yes I do wear those also the first time that I used Anastasia's dip brow pomades I actually used chocolate first but when I spoke to her at IMATS in LA this past January she told me to try the ebony on myself and oh my gosh ever since then I fell in love and I really really love how dark and cool toned it is because it really replicates the color of my hair because I have really dark hair and I love the dip brow pomades I did do a review on it on my blog as well and so I will link that down below I just love how this product lasts through sweat through water through anything and I use this to work out sometimes and it does not budge whatsoever even if I'm covered in sweat and it looks like I just washed my face it does not move around not only is it good for special occasions but it's also good for every day you can definitely sheer it out you can wear it as natural as you want or as dramatic as you want next up I have some lip products the first one that I want to share with you is this lip balm crayon and it is a tinted lip balm from Miss Hana and it is in the shade 
Orange Twilight, and I got this off of imamoko.com. I love this lip balm for every day. I have been using this non-stop this past month, and I'm normally not a big fan of tinted lip balms just because I have very pigmented lips, and so they don't really show up on me anyway. But this one is such a pretty orange shade, and look at this. It's pretty pigmented for a lip balm. And what I love about this lip balm is that it does its job at moisturizing. Usually tinted lip balms are only there to put tint on your lips but after a while when it dries it doesn't even moisturize anymore but this stays put and stays moisturized and it keeps my lips hydrated all day long and I love it I put this on my purse everywhere I go and the only thing though that I have a problem with this particular crayon is that it's not retractable you have to sharpen it and so that's kind of a hassle for me especially if I want it on the go with me everywhere so the last lip products I want to share with you are these glosses from whitening lightning and I posted swatches on my Instagram so go ahead and check that out if you want to see them what I love about these glosses is that you can wear them by itself you don't have to wear them over a lipstick or a lip liner just to show color because they are so pigmented. And I was so amazed when I first tried these glosses because they are not just liquid lipsticks, they are glosses. They stay glossy as long as you have them on. And what I like about the packaging of these glosses too is that you don't have to bring anything else if you're wearing this on the go, if you need to touch up or anything like that because it has a compact mirror on the side and then it lights up right here as you can see so if you're on a night out with your friends or you're on a date or you need to go to the bathroom and the bathroom lighting sucks then this definitely helps out. The only problem that I have with some of the glosses is that they can apply really streaky. Seduction is not really my favorite out of all of them that I've tried because it's really, really dark and so it's really, really hard for you to get an even application. You really need to have a lip liner or a lipstick underneath for it to really show the true color. The last items I wanted to share with you are some nail polishes and finally, I can wear nail polishes again because I had gel nails for a while so I couldn't really try the new nail polishes but anyways I have these ones right here these are from OCC and these are from their plastic passion collection and this one that I have is pool boy which is a blue and then this one is pleasure model and I have that on my nails right now and then this one is called Seething. Now I've already talked about these nail polishes in my spring must-haves but I haven't really talked about the formulation yet I am in love with the formulation. I just love how long it lasts on the nails. I have had these for probably almost a week now and I haven't had a chip yet and I am so happy because usually with me nail polishes don't really last on my nails. They chip probably like after two days but these seriously are high quality and they don't chip for a long time and so I'm really impressed with the formulation and I just love this color pleasure model in particular. I'm definitely definitely going to wear this all throughout the summer as well because this nail polish looks so beautiful against my skin tone and I can only imagine how it looked like against tan skin. So that was it for my March favorites. I hope that you all found it helpful. If you have any more video requests that you would like me to do, please leave them in the comments down below and make sure that you don't forget to enter my birthday giveaway which is still going on right now. And yeah, I will see you again soon. Bye!